Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to episode 236 of the 4,000 Question Challenge, and Mandarin is currently with us. You can see her see her behind me on the table, sniffing at nothing still on the, on the table. She's a weird cat. Um, what are three... Oh, she's going after bubble wrap. That's what she's going after, there's bubble wrap on the table. What are three sounds that disturb you? Um... Well, the most disturbing sound is my cat, particularly when I step on her, step on her because she's constantly and endlessly underfoot. It does happen, unfortunately, more often than I would like it to happen. Not regularly. Um, my cat's puking. That's another sound that disturbs me, both because it means I have to go pick up the cute puke and because I don't want my cat to suffer. Um, and the sounds that humans make when they suffer, whether it's in pain, emotional, pain or actual pain, the sounds people make when they're suffering. And unfortunately, I as do first aid at work, so I kind of hear that kind of thing frequently, as well as, you know, the dealing with the emotional pains of those that we love. Um, how can you tell when people are really listening to you? I have no idea. I would love to have an answer to that. Anyone got one? Um, what struggles or weaknesses in your life have brought you the greatest frustration. And I know I sound like a broken record for any of those that have watched a lot of these videos. And I don't think there's anyone that's going to watch a lot of these videos. Um, but it's going to be mental illness. Yeah. yeah. Well, the mental illness is the answer to many of these questions. Again, I don't think the person that wrote these really understood the full breadth and width of the audience that may potentially answer these questions. But some of them are set up to require the person to delve into parts of their, their 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 mental makeup that they may not want to be talking about in light conversation when you're trying to get to know someone. So what is a recent fad you admit to trying? A recent fad? Oh, I've done lots of fads here on YouTube. You know, lots, of, lots of questionnaires and, you know, challenges and things like that. All that kind of, like a, that kind of crap. But other than the fads out here in the real meat world, I don't know if I do many fads. Sometimes I will adopt something because an item or a technology or a fashion becomes available in the sense that it didn't exist before. So I can hop on that bandwagon. For example, I eventually hopped on the smartphone bandwagon even if this is the base model put out by Samsung, it's the J7. Um, now, it's actually be interesting to see what kind of phone I have at the time of this film, of this video going up, because this will be the 236th week of this project when you hear this, and I am not in the 236th week of my life for this project. Um, be interesting to see if I still have the same phone. Um, but yeah, so that kind of thing, but I, I'm not a big bad person. Um... What is the worst thing, this, oh, this is going to be good, that could happen to you if you took a risk and failed? I could lose everything. How's that for an answer? And that's a horrible, horrible game to play, the What Up game. Not healthy in the least. All right, next we have a section which is the um, lead-in and follow-up type question. And the lead-in to these particular questions are, could you accept, oh, this is going to be unhealthy. Could you accept um, being in a wheelchair? I suppose I could. I'd have to change where I lived or how I lived. I need to put an elevator in. Um, but I guess I could. I wouldn't be happy about it, mind you. But I don't think I would. it would kill me. Could you accept being blind? Um, yeah, but that would be worse than being in a wheelchair. I don't want to lose my vision. I'm a very visual person. I love looking at things and people. And I would lose a lot if that happened. Could you accept being deaf? Yes, I guess I could. Um, it would change how I perceive the world in the sense that I would have to use captions here. And, um, I'd have to make sure I did them properly because I'll be honest, I don't do captions for my videos. Um, but I suppose if I were deaf, I would have to support my community. Why well, I'm not supporting that community right now, mostly because I'm lazy, my apologies. Um, could you accept losing your sense of taste? Yes, 
but I'd be unhappy. Could you accept losing your sense of smell? Yes, I'd be more unhappy. Um, my sense of taste is the sense that I would lose first if I had to lose it. As we know, the classic five senses. Um, but if you lose your smell, you lose half of your taste and the ability to smell. And I rely on my ability to smell quite a lot. I have an acute sense of smell and I have picked up um, important things with my nose, including like machines that are about to fail. Um, I picked up that a motor was going to go days before it actually went. <laughs> Much to my boss's amazement. I thought there's something wrong with that dude. It's not going to last long. Two days later, it died. I told you it wasn't going to last long. Um, but yeah, these are, these are really depressing questions. Thank you. Getting to know your book. All right, that's the end of episode 236. Thank you for being here. I hope that you will come back for episode 237.